So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, imputers. Okay, so I have already made a video on imputer about numerical imputer. If you have not checked, you can go and check. And in this video, I'm going to talk about categorical imputers. Uh, this was the last place. Uh, where I explained numerical imputers and now it's time to explain the categorical imputers how to do categorical uh, how to handle categorical null values uh, for example there is uh, one categorical attribute I mean I can see many I, there is survive there is p class there is sib sparch I mean sibling and sprouse there is parent children there is embarked let me uh, consider embarked titanic embarked okay so I can see this is a categorical attribute and how do I know that it is a categorical attribute because I can see the data is not number. The data isn't given in this form S S C S S and you can simply run this dot value counts to find out the categorical data. So there is a category known as S. There is a category known as C. There is a category known as Q. OK, so this is a categorical data now. If I use this data to check how many null values are there is n a dot sum. So there are two uh, null values over here. Fine. So let me show you how to do imputation of these values. Now, let me make some more rows. Okay, make some more cells uh, from sklearn dot impute import simple imputer now categorical uh, imputer equal to simple imputer strategy equal to most frequent u u e n t okay most frequent means is nothing but it's the mode, right? So now categorical imputer dot fit and transform this particular data. Titanic of Ember. Okay, this is the series, but series won't give us a result. I have to pass a data frame. This is the data frame. Okay, control C, control V, and Boom. There are no null values. Okay. So the data it find out it found out which are the rows which have null values and it just filled those rows with the mode value. Okay. So now how can you make sure that it is dealing with only do those rows where there are null values, right? So let's find out where in uh, the embarked data the null value is. So in, if I open Titanic, if I open embark, so you can see this is the data. If I do dot is na dot sum, okay, this gave us two, right? And uh, if I do, if I import, numpy uh, as np okay in uh, titanic embarked equal to equal to np dot nan i think this is gonna work hopefully okay titanic embarked is na okay i'm getting this let me use this only if i use this okay so, okay, so uh, you can see in the 61th row and in the 829th row, these two rows contain NAN values, right? NAN, NAN. Now we have already performed the imputation on this data, PD data frame dot output, right? So this is the data on which we have already performed the imputation. Let me get the index number 61 is giving me an s and let me get the index of 829 which should give me s okay so you can see this two particular rows got filled with s 
and s now why it got filled with s and not other value the reason being uh titanic embarked dot value counts see S is having the highest number of like highest number of occurrences. So S has occurred more number of times. So what it did, it uh, it found out uh, which is having the highest uh, occurrence S and it filled this to NAN with S. Okay. So this is how you can verify whether your uh, data is properly working or not. Sort of cross verification. It's going to work for sure sort of a cross verification, right? So this is how you handle uh, imputation in categorical attributes. So that's it. So hopefully I was able to explain this imputation of categorical, uh, categorical attribute. And if you're able to understand this, just give a like and uh, that's it. Comment me down below, okay? So how I'm, I'm explaining whether, whether you are able to understand or not. So. Uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching.